Hey kids, today we're going to learn about something that biology nerds and five-year-olds both agree is really pretty cool, and that's dead dinosaurs. Now, I know what you're thinking. We already know that uh, dinosaurs are real animals that probably had feathers and nurtured their young and uh, were more like really big turkeys than the horrifying 12-ton monsters of scales and teeth that Hollywood makes them out to be. And to that I say... Well, I had to make this project about something, and dinosaurs seemed a lot cooler than liver cancer, so just let me do this. Anyways, while most people nowadays rightly know that birds evolved from dinosaurs, and that almost every dinosaur had some level of feathers on it, most people don't really realize exactly how bird-like theropod dinosaurs really were. Like a velociraptor was basically just a chicken with slightly more bloodlust and sharp things, you know, more than a normal chicken. Take for example today's prime topic, the discovery of baby Ying Lang, aka the creepy dino fetus that's been giving you nightmares on your newsfeed for the past two months. Baby Ying Lang, or just Ying as I will now be calling it for the sake of time, was an unborn member of the Oviraptosaur genus of dinosaurs. Hey, genus is the one above its species if you were wondering. These dinosaurs were very bird-like, as they possessed only a beak instead of the horrifying pencil-sized chompers that other theropod dinosaurs possessed. But nah, these guys were chill. They were originally named after the Latin words for egg and robber, which I find hilarious, personally. Like, imagine someone finds the remains of a dead animal in 2,000 years, and it just names it something like, Milk Finder. But, I digress. This egg is actually really cool. It basically shows the habit birds have of tucking their heads between their legs and arms around their head started with dinosaurs. And that this habit is actually really beneficial to the hatching process and it existed for far longer than scientists thought. Birds are basically the daredevils of the animal world. They gotta be ready to tuck and roll like they're coming out of a cannon since the minute they're born. By the way, the actual ying looks like this, and not that nightmare fuel CGI recreation that you've probably seen going around different scientific journals as of late. It makes a lot more sense looking at the skeleton when you actually know how a dinosaur egg is fossilized. Basically, it all starts when a mama big scary chicken lays her giant murder egg in an environment filled with a lot of shifting sand or mud. And that egg gets completely covered by that sediment, which protects it from the elements. And then the inside of the egg basically exchanges its organic material of egg juice with the minerals in the rock, which basically turns it into a fossilized mix of uh, bone, calcium, and rock on the inside, and a big, fragile, geode-looking thing on the outside. And I honestly can't wait to see if we find some other cool fossils like this of other dinosaurs, like a sauropod. It'd be so cool to see a baby Brachiosaurus contorted inside a relatively tiny egg to see if it has any more to do with its relation to birds, or if that kind of a dinosaur doesn't really do that kind of a thing. But I think the most important takeaway from today's lesson is that chickens used to be really scary, and now they're only kind of scary. <laughs> Goodbye guys, until next time.